Hey guys, we're Knight here. And I know I haven't officially done a YouTube video for a while now. Because the last one got blocked and it's on Reddit now. But, I'm doing one right now and if it's on Reddit, I apologize. So let's talk about an anime that everybody is talking about. My Hero Academia. Why? Glad you asked. It is a Michael Keaton movie. Probably because it has a fan base that, surprisingly, I want to be a part of. When the anime was released in Japan, from Japan and was English dubbed, everyone was talking about it. And I guess it's a superhero themed anime. And I should like it, seeing that I've enjoyed both the Avengers and the Justice League, and a fan of anime and anime themed shows. So naturally, it's like my childhood wrapped into one. Is it good? Let's find out. So we start this anime with a kid running into a superhero fight. The first incident was in Ching Ching City. An extraordinary child was born who radiated light. After that, reports of people with superpowers popped up across the globe. No one knew what was causing these quirks. Before long, the supernatural became the totally normal. Dreams are reality. They also had some complex cocktails from Professor Utonium's house. But you didn't hear that from me. So we are at a school full of heroes, and no, I won't do a Disney joke. We are aptitude tests, but why bother? <laughs> no, you all want to go into the hero track. Screw academics, we're heroes. Don't let me in with this bunch of losers. I'm the real deal, but these guys will be lucky to end up as sidekicks to some busted D-lister. <laughs> He's an asshole. Midoriya, <laughs> you're kidding, right? There's no way you're getting into the hero course without a quirk. Whoa. I mean, come on. There are other superheroes that don't have superpowers, like Batman, Green Arrow. Oh my god, I think that's it. You'd never be able to hang with the best of the best! You'd die in the exams! Defenseless Izuku! The school's already crappy. You really want to embarrass it more by failing so hard? What the hell was that? Yeah, that was kind of a weird way to end this scene. Also, where was the teacher in that scene? The powers are no powers. That could cause suspension. So we see a villain who looks like Ox Oscar the Grouse being liquefied. And back at the school where Deco is being bullied by the same guy. Nerd. Don't even think of applying, or else. He's an asshole. So we find out that Deku is a big fan of the hero All Might, who looks like Johnny Bravo on steroids, and wants to be a hero too. Just one problem. Research studies conducted, and doctors discovered a link between the bones in a person's foot and their likelihood of developing a quirk. I'm sorry, what? I know I should make a joke about this, but that's it. Back to the part that, wow! How is that not censored? So Deku is rescued by All Might, and... I didn't mean to get you caught up in my justicing. Usually, I pay more attention to keeping bystanders safe, but it turns out this city sewer system is pretty difficult to navigate! Ha 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 I was also passing by some turtles in the sewer eating pizza! Ah 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 ah! So they jump from building to building with Deku hanging on to All Might, and they land on top of a building where Deku asks All Might if he can be a hero too. But as he talks, All Might turns into. Someone after the effects of steroids. <sighs> There's plenty of fear behind that smile. I'm counting on you to keep your mouth shut. Wait, did they get. Oh my god, oh my god, they did. They get Zoro's voice. It's not bad to have a dream, young man. Just make sure your dreams are attainable. Realistic. Understand? Oh, he sounds like my parents. So they both see that the same villain is attacking down with the bully's power. Huh. I 
tyranny. So every hero tries to stop him, but can't because he's too strong. All Might shows up, and Deku walks around moping and shows up and blaming themselves. We're up yet, and none of the other heroes have the quirks to stop this monster. So pathetic. It's my fault. I'm sorry. So sorry. Well, we're waiting. Deku then charges at the monster, attacking the villain. All Might helps him defeat the villain. So after that fight, Deku heads home where Ketchum Feeling like you to help me. Don't think you can look down on me! Huh? Got that? I was fine by myself! You're just a quirkless failure who won't even cut it as a Reddit cop! You didn't help me! You did nothing! Don't forget it! He's an asshole! All Might then shows up, changes back, and with a morale of strength and courage, Deku proved that he could be a hero. So that was the first two episodes of My Hero Academia. How was it? Amazing! Except when it was stupid. To be fair, both comic book shows and anime have had both awesome and stupid moments in them. But they mashed them together to create a unique formula. The main reason that bothered me was how people got quirks. But the rest of the show was pretty good. It's like an anime version of the Powerpuff Girls or Space Ghost. You know this is a superhero ripoff, but it has fun with it. So if you're a fan, not a fan, or both, this show will give you a smile every time. I'm Lunar Knight, and I'll see you guys next time.